Delivered by going live. Oh. We're live in a bunch of places. You now. This needs to be reversed. Just don't tell me. Good. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, there it is. It's. This is it. This is the last like three days of the year. What, where, what, how did, when, when did that happen? When did that, recently, probably happened recently. Probably happened pretty recently, when I least expected it. So, uh, usually I'm much better prepped at wrapping my head around this year, but I feel like this year has been a total shit show. Between the political roller coaster that was the presidential election and... Well, you got divorced. Everybody dying and... You got divorced? I didn't get divorced. Oh, okay. I did not get divorced. That's the one thing that didn't happen this year. Okay. It is a rainy, gloomy So for some year. of us, it was, you know. It was a good year? No, I got divorced. Oh, this year was officially, officially <laughs> Officially, I found out about it and I got But were you still together with your wife in like January and then later yeah. you were divorced? Yeah. My... So this was a bad year. Well, by, I bet you. You met me. So it was a good year. Look, it's all in perspective, but you have to acknowledge that 2016 has not been kind to our, our A lot celebrities. of people. Uh, to our what? Some of our celebrities. A lot of people passed this year, more yeah. than in recent memory, or more well-known ones than in recent memory. Or more right. unexpected ones than in recent memory. How about that? Yeah. It was tough. A lot of controversy. Like, not controversy, but, but yeah, tragedy. Like, exactly. Which is really tough. Really tough. And then you know you don't think about it until the Oscars does a big like obit and um, memory in memoriam, and then you go back and you're like, oh, my, oh, 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 ooh, oh, 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 oh. So as we approach the 31st, which is I believe Saturday night, I am going to do my own share. Of, oh, 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 oh. Are you going to be watching the Buckeyes beat Clemson also? That I don't know anything about, but I am going to. The Buckeyes I, play Clemson to go into the national championship. On the this. national championship game? No, it's the semifinal. Ah. It's Saturday night. Okay, I will root for them for you. You bet, thank you. 100%. Not you, who? What? If not you, who's going to? Not me, who? If not when? Nah, uh, not now. Not, when. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> how you doing? Welcome to the show. I'm Jenna. I was on my way up here and. Uh, if you know anything about New York City, you know that apartments are on the smaller side because real estate is, um, you know, expensive and small and uh, expensive. So uh, most people that have pets in Manhattan have like little tiny nothings, you know, like a little something this big, like that great line from Seinfeld, like, uh, what was that line? Um, uh, poodles, he runs on batteries, you know, little tiny nothings. That being said, Lance, I will tell you that I basically rode up on the elevator here with what appeared to be a lion. I um, never saw anything like it, okay? It was easily, I wouldn't even say a small human, I would say a medium to large, well-fed human. On a leash, I heard and walked and then came up here with that person and that thing. And, that, and I have to say, and I, and I mentally said to the pet, I'm really sorry that you live in Manhattan. You probably can barely stretch out in these apartments. But, uh, you know, Godspeed and God bless and good luck. And as always, we have one slight little issue, which is why I'm not, no one's listening to me right now. I'm listening, but it's still not working here. Oh, let's get another. What's happening? Facebook is not broadcasting. Let's get another phone number. Okay. All right. Anyone? Anyway. I had a good night last night. I did want to, you know this thing, you know, is there a moment when, you know, you uh, have like, right. you have like, uh, like your friends, like my friend Marnie, right? Her mom is Helene uh, Wasserman. Like at what point do you stop calling her Mrs. Wasserman and you start calling her Helene? Like that's a big grown up moment, right? When you turn into like- You never that, do that. You never do? Like, I've never been able to do that. Well, so I usually don't, but I, at some point I must have and not realized it. So the same applies to family. like. My aunt Cindy and my uncle Ricky. Like, at what point do they become compadres, like friends, you know, relatives, but but on your same level, and not like, oh, Uncle Ricky, like, what are you doing? And let me tell you about what's happening in school. Well, last night, my aunt and uncle, my mom's brother and sister-in-law, came over and hung out for the first time, like with just me and Steph. And 
I felt like a full-fledged adult. How ridiculous. Like, I, I was talking to them like they weren't my elder relatives. Like, they were just real people. And I realized that I am officially no longer of a child. As much as I like to tout myself as one, I'm gonna have to play with the big kids, like in the big kid sandbox, and not call people Mrs. and Mr. anymore, and just call them by their first names, and give them due respect, and... So I, um... Like, I was always the, the little perky, spiky, crazy kid on every athletic team. I was always the youngest one on the team. Like, I made varsity as a freshman, and three sports, right? When I went to a new job, I was always the youngest one. It's, it's not me anymore. So I... Uh, Go ahead, time for me to hear. I'm waiting here. When I was doing the malaria work, one of the people I reached out to who was extraordinarily helpful was actually Ralph Nader. I thought it was my uncle Ricky. Um, no, I'm sorry. And there I go with my first time of the day. He always called me Mr. Lafer. No, that's always. different. But that's different. That's no, no. Respect. I, I, I respect it. I was 40 years old. He, he's, he's one of the giants. And he calls everybody in respect. Like he tries to just be respectful. Okay, but I mean, would you like me to call you Mr. Lafer? No, because we're contemporaries. We're, I mean, I'm, I know I'm a little bit older than you, but we're basically contemporaries. Right, so my friend's mom is not my like, No, like yeah. Joe Garton, like when we had Joe on. You I feel comfortable, I call him Joe. I'm uncomfortable calling him Joe, but I met him golfing. So it's a little bit, Right, but I don't know if he would feel comfortable with you calling him Mr. Garden. Right, exactly. Right. But that we met at a certain point where even though he's 30, 35 years old, but if I had met him when I was a kid, yeah. and I called him, and I called him... Oh, when you met him as a kid, of course. I right, if I, but I have friends, but like, I, we have I parents, think... we have friends of ours that I, I call them, like, Seymour. You know, like, I would call him Seymour. I, I called him Seymour from the time I was a right. kid. But I would just keep, I, I think I keep that lane going. Well, what my do you, whole life. I find that with a doctor. Like, I, I never know what to call my, my kid's doctor. You know, it's, it, her name is, is Rachel, but do I say, thank you, Dr. Lewis? Or, I mean, she's, she's my age. Do I say, uh, okay, you Rachel? Said. Like, so now I'm calling Rachel. <laughs> right. I told you my thing, but that has another, friend. yeah. Yeah, but I really want to be her friend. I really want to be her friend. But like her friend, because I want to call and be able to be friends. When I had a therapist, I wanted to be friends with her. I was like, let's be You friends. wanted to be friends with your therapist? Very, very much so. Oh she man, you must have nothing to talk about in those cool. sessions. Some sessions we didn't, I'll admit. Some sessions we didn't. Did she you, was do you, super do you cool. still go or you go? You just... I go every once in a while. I love, I go to therapy the same way I go to the gym, right? I go to the gym to work on my body and I go to therapy to work on my mind. And when, I think. Randy Boatwright says, call him Doc. Just Doc. Mm. It's weird if two women the same age and I'm calling her, I don't know, it just feels weird. Hey, Doc, how you doing? I mean, if I was in Back to the sort of uh, one of the sequels of Back to the Future, I would call him Doc. <laughs> I'm not ready to call, I'm not ready to call my child's pediatrician Doc. I call my dad Papa Doc. You don't want to call your dad Papa Doc. <laughs> you don't want to call your dad Papa Doc. Anyway, so we had a really nice night last night, and I found out, which I didn't know, that my uncle actually works at a medical marijuana plant in Connecticut. Quality control? Yeah, but you know what? I was able to have a very Wait, he's quality conversation. Control? Yes, and distributing. And I had an intelligent conversation with him based on the guest that we had a few weeks back, Joe. Right. Remember when he was telling us? about the problems with, with edible marijuana and with all on marijuana. The, um, on the command there, right? No, 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 when we were in the um, Oceana. Oh, in Oceana, right, right, right. Right, and I said the problem with marijuana is that you, it's, since it's not regulated, it, it, it's, if you don't know what you're getting, you can get a chocolate chip cookie with 20 milligrams, or you can get a brownie with 100 milligrams, and I would never in a million years touch it because that makes me scared, what? Darren is like, Hi, Lancey, Jenna, and Connor. Oh, that's cute. We're, Darren, we were just having a discussion about what people should be calling. I have Ralph Nader calling me Mr. Lafer, and I have Darren calling well, me Lancey. Lancey. <laughs> well, you see what I'm saying. There it goes. Anyway, uh, I was fascinated. All of a sudden, my uncle was like kind of cool. I mean, he's always been cool, but... But the marijuana. Works in America, medical marijuana. And he actually said, he's like, you let me know if you, you, you know, because he knows. I'm, Kind of a little bit of a of a health nerd, if you will. You know, I've never smoked. I never tried pot. All my friends were doing it left and right, and I always felt like, 
I would be the one person that would get bad marijuana and would end up in a hospital. In a hospital. So I never, uh, I never tried it, and I never took one. I never wanted to try it, so I never did. So that was that was something that was brought up last night. Still never did. Still haven't. But it definitely crossed my mind. But if you need it medicinally, you're more open to it. I guess. But he also is. Uh, he used to be, he majored in pharmaceuticals, and he knows everything about all these different um, painkillers that people are ODing on. And he was explaining like the oxycodone, why, oxycodone, hydrocodone, methamphetamine, meth. Of choline. He was explaining all of it to me. And what I didn't understand was that ephedrine, is it ephedrine? I feel, I, I, I'm actually the opposite of your You're uncle. I, I, well, anyway, he was saying that oxycodone is pretty strong, but a f phenol, a phenol, phenol. phenol is 100 yeah. times stronger than heroin. Yeah, 100 cool. stronger, more addicting than heroin. Can wow. you believe it? And it's illegal, and that's why people are so. So I said, well, who's using this stuff? And he was like, cancer patients, people in really chronic, chronic pain, but it's, it's so incredibly dangerous. And I said, well, how does, and I mean this, we've done so many stories, how does someone like, how would someone like me ever get addicted knowing full well that you're doing something wrong? And he said, it's very easy. You try it once recreationally, and you say, wow, that was not bad, I tried it once. And then the second time comes up, and you're like, oh, I'll, try, I'll try it again, I did it once, it was no big deal, you do it again. Third time, you're like, oh, this is no big deal. I can do it again. It was fine. Then all of a sudden, it becomes a fourth time and a fifth time. The next thing you know, you, you're you thinking about it more, and, and, and you think maybe you want to stop, but all of a sudden, your body doesn't, doesn't want you to stop. And before you know it, everything changes, and now your body's addicted to it, and your mind is like, but I don't want to. But your body is stronger than your mind is, and it craves it, and that's how well-adjusted, very intelligent, very successful, very wealthy people uh, who understand the pros and cons of drugs can very easily get addicted. And I fascinated by how something like heroin seeps its way into, you know, well-educated, adjusted, upper-class-level upper, upper class level right, societies. Especially high schools. Especially high schools, absolutely. Um, and it's something I worry about with my kids right now, of having to, not now, but eventually having to speak to them about it. Darren is curious about propofol, Michael Jackson. So propofol, was a, uh, it's the sleep agent, is a very, very potent sleep agent. And again, I, I think they use it for, I, I'm really talking out of turn here, but I wanna say for like severe operations or something where they really need to, really need to put you out or something, okay. and he was using it nightly to, to actually sleep. But I, you, you know that there were so many other things found in his body besides just propofol. Propofol was the last thing that was probably- Oh yeah, because you have access and you just have, you need money. When you have money and you have access, you, you want, you know? But Prince died of, what is it called? Um, Brad, yeah, actually. Fentanyl, that's what Fentanyl. Prince died of. Or actually, your, um, Darren had actually just pointed out, and Brad actually just made a good point here that I missed. I, I, I read it, I thought it was a good point. Brad, I'm sorry, I missed it. Okay. Anyway, um, that's what Prince died of, and that's how addicting it is. I'm inhaling as much water as I can because I'm Never taking been. my, uh, I haven't taken a Vikram class in over a year. Vikram is not just hot yoga, it's yoga, 90 minutes, 26 postures in 110 to 115 degree room where people could very easily pass out. Now why am I doing this? I, it's a very gigantic mental fortitude test for me. And I like to I like to push myself sometimes, and I push myself physically, and I'm going to push my. This is a very mental thing for me, so I'm going to try it once a week, and then build from there. Anyway, I want to get as much water into my system as I can. What's and the mental part? So you have to hold postures for like 30 seconds in the most excruciating heat and a lot of pain, and eventually you pass the point where where you get past the pain of the discomfort, and you're just in the positions and holding. Them. I mean head back, upside down, which is fine if you're doing it in this kind of thing, but when you are absolutely, it feels like you are baking in the sun, it's supposed to let your body loosen up and you're supposed to be more flexible. It's really, 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 really taxing. Darren's asking if you're doing it to help survive in the desert. Yes, well, I'll be in the desert on Thursday, so, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna swing by there on the way to the show next week. Randy Boatwright is actually saying that people like to feel good with no pain, and he takes oxy for the pain. But what is the pain that you have? You have what kind of pain do you have? Chronic pain, pain from an injury, pain from an accident, pain from trauma, pain from an illness. 
I'm, I'm always curious about it. Like my dad fell one time and he like got stitches in his face and they gave him um, Percocet or whatever it was and he refused to take it because he was afraid. He was afraid yeah. he would get addicted. And he said, I'd rather deal with the pain and let it go away on its own and feel like he got over, you know, had the strength to get over. So I'm not saying that everyone has that strength, but that was his reasoning for wanting to do it. Okay. I didn't know what it was. I touched the cell over there. Um, no. um, Darren is saying that we're all on drugs of some kind. He's on caffeine now. He's hyped up on Mountain Dew. Yeah. I am on Mountain Dew. A pleasant drug called turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee. It's going to get me through the, the hour and a half plus three more. Randy is saying that when he was 16, he was in a car accident. He crushed his arm and broke his pelvis. How old are you now? I'm looking. I don't know. From the looks of his picture, he's older than 16 right now. Okay, so... Randy's the one who asked the options question yesterday. Ah, uh, okay. But are you still taking it? Are you still in pain? If you had the accident when you were 16? I don't know. Just ask me. But I, whatever uh, to each his own. Um, Randy's saying he was fine. He's in law enforcement, but he's, um, well, with age, he's 48. So I guess it's okay. fine. Gotcha. Well, I hope you feel better. <clears throat> um, Brian Yarger says, I fell 32 feet in a construction accident in 2000. I control my pain mentally. I have epileptic seizures on a daily basis and chronic back pain sometimes. You need to use painkillers, but they need to be controlled. Agreed. And it's hard to do that. It's very hard to do that. Um, I, I, I don't even know if I could. I mean, I have a hard time getting into heat wax. And I walk in there and I'm like, mental fortitude, mental <laughs> And there's no mental fortitude. And that's just what it is. So I understand that pain is difficult. Darren is saying Connor's going to be on painkillers. Um, he will be on painkillers after, after the general work. After the general work, and also for the noise during the noise is making. But what can you do? But that was my night last night. We had a fun time. Um, er ergonomics is high. It's one from Spain. Interesting conversation. A nice, nice Kandinsky type painting on the left. This Kandinsky type painting is is it straight? It doesn't seem like it's straight. It's. It's not straight. It's uh, a Lance Lafer. Lance did it, and it's up on eBay right now if you want it. On the well, I think the big show. bidding right now is up to $20. Well, you can have this for $20. Like, I think, look. actually, no, it's, it's $20. Somebody would have to pay $21, plus there's like $30 I should it's, pay. It's at 102 right now. What? It's at 102 Oh, $102. Well, don't go any higher, guys. I might want this. It's actually beautiful, and I love it. And it goes any which way. If you go on eBay, I think we have to... They can go any direction, I think. That's how, that's how I saw it. Um, you go on, uh, go on eBay and type Jenna Wolf Show or Jenna Wolf. Wow. What is it up to now? $102. I wasn't kidding. 102 and with $35, somebody would be willing to pay $137. He's being modest. This could easily go for a couple hundred to a couple yeah, At least a couple hundred cents. <laughs> That's I nice. like it, Lance. It's good. We're selling a lot of things on eBay. Why yes. Not? It's fun. Well, it's definitely cool. How are you? Did you have a good night last night? I did. I did. I, I actually worked on, um, I was working on another, like, the iteration. The reason I'm okay with you working on colors and paintings is because your mind goes and you... Oh, know, yeah. You it's where my mind, colors. like, yeah. I, I don't really, like, I mean, if you want to... You can take it, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Like, so. This is what Lance did last night. Lance is actually quite. So, the, if you notice, most of it is like literally me just coloring in. Like, it, I was doing it with crayon and marker. Why do you do flowers? I've been trying to get, I've been trying to get good at making flowers. So I've done a few like a few thousand I've done a few thousand flowers and I I like the art of flowers I feel like flowers cheer up but if you see it's like a lot of it is me just like sitting down and making yeah. sure like your colors so it's like three hours of just coloring background in. no it's I and so you really can really think. think it's perfect I think it I don't think you want to look at an art 
piece of art and say it's perfect. I think right. that's what makes it. And Darren's asking if the center of the face is me. It's not a self-portrait. <laughs> it's not a selfie yet, because um, the first iteration of it actually... Maybe you can do that in your room. Connor, can you set that, can you just do it? Are you fine? Or... Um, it's making a lot of noise. Right. Let's just wait till the break. It's kind of doing something right now, but I'll try. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's let it do it. Some, you're actually making more noise than the printer with the crumbling. Uh, I'm, I'm done with that. All right, he's done with that. So um, I started a show because I think it's high time, and I had the same situation when The Sopranos came out, and I felt like I was the only human on earth not watching The Sopranos. So I said, the next time something like this comes up, I'm jumping on board early. So uh, Game of Thrones came on, and I jumped on board. Watched the whole thing, never understood one episode. Not one. Where the hell is everybody going? I have no idea. So I said, okay, forget it. This time I'm really gonna jump on board with the next big thing. New York Times comes out with this great review of the show Westworld. Boom, I'm in, Stephanie's begging me to see it. Westworld, let's sit down, let's watch it. Three episodes in, you could put a gun to my head and said, I beg you to tell me one thing this show's about, couldn't. I literally couldn't. Now maybe I'm stupid. I have no idea what's happening. I went so far as to read the Vanity Fair spoiler alert article, which literally tells you everything that happened. Still couldn't tell you what's going on. I, like I think watching Seinfeld has dumbed down my, my, my television retention. I really think I'm only able to absorb television in bits, in five second clips. But then I asked Connor today and he said it's, it's a little bit complicated. Have you seen this Westworld? No. Nah. It was based on the Michael Crichton movie, I guess, in like 1979 or something? Yeah, something like that. Crazy, crazy, complicated, and a little weird. Very naked, but odd naked, not like seductive naked. Does anyone watch Westworld? And if so, please tell me what the hell's going on. Uh, S is watching Homeland and Shameless, those are... Well, you should watch Homeland. In fact, you should watch all of Homeland, and you may get to an episode where you see someone that looks familiar this season. Like who? Plummer. Oh, Fred Proud actually drank his 20 sips of water this morning for the first time. Nice, dude. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. I'm actually really proud of you. I'm still drinking. Um, no one watches Westworld? Nobody. I don't even... Uh, uh, actually, looks like Lisa Lacosi on um, Instagram now. She says it is complicated. It's complicated. Darren, oh, <laughs> Darren is pointing out, Darren has two comments here. He wanted to know what Connor was building. A printer. Oh, uh, he thought it was his bunk bed. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> it, was, it was Darren's comment. Um, and he was telling Fred Proud that he drinks his 20 sips of Mountain Dew. Oh, good. <laughs> he already, he already had go, his Darren. 20 sips of Mountain Dew. Um, Leave it to Darren. Uh, yeah, Lisa Lucas was saying that she likes to read a while. Um, okay, so they're asking about your cameo in Homeland now. If it's a cameo or if it's... It's, a, a, it's not even a cameo. It's one, it's like one tiny scene. Brad Pitless gave up three, um, he gave up after three episodes. I'm assuming he's talking about Westworld. Yeah, I just watched the third episode last night. It... I don't understand what I, I, I don't have incentive to keep going. Why do they have to make it so complicated? And they're all mumbling. Why mumble? Just enunciate a little bit. And everyone's dying, then they come back, then they die, then they come back. I, what? What? It's, <clears throat> it's hard, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. They're like mistaking a good story for like a like super interesting, overly convoluted plot. And it, like, like what they did with Inception. It's like the same thing. Oh, so complicated. <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting for Beak to come out. Once Beak comes out, I'm done. That's all you're going to talk. You're going to hear me talk about. So everybody's basically echoing the same thought over here. And speaking of an echo, we do have an echo still. There's in an this. echo in the room. By next week, <clears throat> the end of next week, we have all our furniture. The echo will be gone. We'll have a carpet. We'll have our couch. We'll have our art on the wall. We'll be good to go. What's wrong, what's wrong, Lance? What are you thinking about? You look like you're very deep in thought. Um, I was actually thinking about the fact that I should 
I was actually also going to buy a canvas. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Like, I look at the art. Oh, you want to buy Polaroid cameras? I want, we're getting Polaroid cameras also for the thing, but I was actually thinking of where I, how I'm going to paint in here. Because now I've just been drawing, so. Yeah. I was, like, how I, because I'm looking at that painting, and I'm just like, if people Do like it, I, sh I should just keep doing a lot of them uh, for everybody here. Anyway, um, do you want me to read? Yeah, let's read some comments. They're talking about the uh, thing here. About Westworld? They have a whole conversation going on about yeah about the shows you were talking about. Westworld. Tell me, what, what are they saying? I'd love to I, did, I was looking at the other one. I just saw oh, shows. Okay. Like, it's hard for me to... Painting live could be a show. Uh, yeah, there are people. Okay. Yeah, there are people who do those. Um, I don't know that anybody would really want to. I, I did the painting. Um, Lance did this, guys. Lance is actually brilliant at this stuff. It's really good. Yeah, we can do a. Yeah, and maybe we should paint some furniture. <laughs> what is it? We should. We need to get some furniture. Okay. okay yeah. Let me just. Get, I'm sorry, Periscope. I'm going over now to Instagram. It's hard because the Periscope we don't track, so I'm right. trying to catch them, catch them as. All right. Hi, Instagram. Hard. Uh, Jflip87 wants to know, and if Darren wasn't so funny, um, <laughs> Darren wants you to paint Connor's hair as a segment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Amanda Oleander has uh, paints on Periscope and does have a lot of followers. She's very popular and she, she does. Uh, there's oh, a very okay. popular painter on Periscope. Gotcha. Uh, okay, when does the holiday eating stop? I'm sorry. This you're at you're, that you you we're done it. we're done the holiday okay. eating has to stop. Blake Riley says Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Blake. Great day. I Liam for real says Hey Jenna, are you still part of NBC? I am not anymore. Um, Brian Yarga wants to know if we're going to go take a break for bodily functions. He used a different word. We will, if we, if we need to. Brian Yarger says, good job, Randy. Be strong. Yeah. We thanked him. That was... Uh, Tilly Millie says, hi. Brian Yarger says, during the pee break, that's when Connor should be making the uh, sounds. Okay. You know, there's a, an app that... Uh, I did a piece on this for the Today Show, I think, where you put in any movie, and they'll tell you at what point in the movie you can go take a pee break, that you won't miss anything. Oh, that's actually awesome. Isn't that cool? That would be cool. Um, Brad Pitless. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I missed the second time. What? I missed, I missed it. I missed his comment. It was a good one, though. I, I hate when I read, like, I get the end of the comment and I can't interpret it well enough. Oh, Brian likes the app that tells you where the nudity is. Oh, it's yeah, like Howard Stern know. has this, like, guy, he has this guy on the show all the time who's, who's, I forgot the name of the website, but it basically has every nude scene in every movie, and yeah. it tells you exactly yeah. where it is. Darren said that, right? Yeah, Darren. All right, let's finish up on Instagram. Well, S is asking if you and Steph had your movie night yet. Nope, we were supposed to have it last night, but we got to the movies, and Carrie Fisher died. Or we were supposed to have it two nights ago, but Carrie Fisher died, and then we were supposed to have it last night, and then uh, Debbie Reynolds died. So it looks like death is getting in the way of Steph and I having a uh, date night. And tonight I'm going to take Bikram and then I'm having dinner with a friend, so it won't be tonight. Is Steph doing yoga with you or? Nope, she's doing a piece on security for Times Square. She'll be in Times Square live on Nightly News. I, she's worked harder this week than just about any week. So if you tune in to Nightly News tonight, Steph will be somewhere in Times Square doing a piece on uh, security for New Year's Eve. So we're not doing it tonight. We should do a show, New Year's Eve. Well, let's talk about it and get to Instagram first. <laughs> for the first time in my whole life, I actually have one else. Jenna, should I read your whole book first or read it as I go along? Oh, that's such a good question. Uh, either one. Either one. But if you think you're going to get bored if you read it as you go along, or you're going to stop, or you're going to lose focus, then read the whole thing and pick out what sticks with you. Thank you mm -hmm. for asking that. The book is thinner than 30. We really should. I, I, we did it last year. Read the book? We really should do... Now, because now that they can be saved and we have the show, yeah, we should do. It was amazing for me, and I, I'll say that a large part of why I was able to lose so much weight was hanging 
was was hanging out with you and basically having you analyze each chapter. Yeah. We we should do that one day. Okay. All right. All right. Um, Brian Yarger is asking to please explain the bracket that sits behind you. Well, just turn that over ever so slightly, and you can see we have all the brackets. We do a whole bracket. Right, he wants to understand the concept of the brackets. So we do, the concept of the brackets is as such. We pick a topic, best movies of all time, best TV shows of all time, best musicians, best artists, best quotes, best Twitter handles, best Instagram account, best businesses, whatever it is. And then we have you guys, and, and Lance, and me, and all of us, we come up with like a hundred different examples, a hundred different uh, items. And then from there, we randomly grab 64, we pair them up like an NCAA bracket, and then we stick those pairs all on my Twitter account, and people vote, you guys vote, not us, and then uh, that's how we pair it down from 64 to 32, to 16, to eight, to four, to two, and then we have a championship. Then we stick them up on the wall, we put them on eBay, and we sell them, sign them, and eventually they'll all be sponsored, and it'll be fun. Right, that's actually one of the other thoughts that I had as I was doing that last night, is we're gonna actually get the general show logo, put it onto pages that actually have the brackets. We should have the brackets printed on them, and then we can just fill them in. With the, cool. So this, the, the handwritten versions, I think, are gonna end up being potentially more worth things to people because they're not gonna be. Right, computer. They're, uh, they're gonna be. And it's all my handwriting. That's okay. right. It, Okay, um, Darren was asking if we can get a cue during our show for when he can go take a pee break. Yes, you can go, right? <laughs> well, we, no, no, you can go it, when, we, when we shut down. Yes, <laughs> we I give you We give you those breaks. Let's give Instagram some love. Uh, Judy says, yes, keep painting. Yes, you should, Lance is very good. Uh, G-Spot, no, I, I'm sorry. Uh, Nancy Trash. <laughs> Uh, it says, do you ever Zumba? No. Never have, never will. Not my thing, not a dancer, nor will I be a dancer. Lisa Lacusis asks, where did you get the chair? Does it go up and down? It does go up and down. I don't we got it from Larry. We should actually work out something with them because a lot of people, I think, would want this chair. Yeah. And we should have We're it. not selling this chair. Not I this particular this one, but I'm saying that other people, yeah, I think, we'll might want to get it. Miss 126M is asking, will you write another book in the future? Maybe. I might. But I, I'm glad I did it. Crossed that off my to-do list, my bucket list. And now let's have a successful talk show live streamed. Dawn Lasarchik says, Happy New Year to you and your family. Donnie Juan says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Cunningham Colby says, Happy New Year. What's your dream job? There's a big part of me that's doing it, and I hope this takes off to the point where um, where we are doing this effortlessly. I love talking to people. I love getting people to open up. I love the art and the game and the athleticism of having a deep conversation with someone who has no interest in telling you anything and figuring out a way to open them up. I really do enjoy that, and I did not get a chance to do enough of that at the Today Show. I got put into a little bit of a, of a fitness box, and part of that was my doing. I, I wanted to, I just didn't want to only do that. So, uh, my dream my entire life, I would always, I, I would love to be in a, in a, Broadway, sh a Broadway show. Not a musical a play, or I'd like to be on Saturday Night Live, but realistically, I am, I'm pretty much doing it. Go on. I'm Jody33 says, I'm terrible at trying to work out. I'm in my early 50s and need to start. Is walking the best? Walking's the best. If you don't want to work out, go walk right now. Once you start losing weight and you see that you'll be getting stronger, faster, and uh, healthier, you'll want to work out. Okay. Uh, Miss 126M says, I love Bikram, keep sweating, girl. Yeah. Thanks. Brian Yarger with a very good idea over here says we should put a copy of the book on the table in front of you so people can see it and know what to look for. Please um, do tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. And he thanks you for the answer to the bracket question. You're welcome. 
Coach Christina Fusion Athletics says, thank you for sharing your workouts. You're in my journal of motivators. Oh, I love that. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Uh, Susan Sullins Hale says, hi, Jenna and Lance. Hey, Jenna, ordered your book. Lance, get my name right. Yeah. Welcome to the club, Susan. Sorry. At least I didn't say, um, get my name right. <laughs> Small steps for mankind. Tracy Bender Schisler says, do you eat carbs or limit carbs? I limit carbs. Tony Kendall says, don't mind the echo at all. Thanks, Tony. Donna Kirch says, I love Westworld, a man's vision to create the ultimate fantasy vacation gone mad. Yes. Complicated, but give it a chance. Twist it. Listen. I get the plot. I just don't understand how it's how it's being laid out. I don't understand so much of it, and I don't think they're explaining it to me very well. Unless I'm just not smart enough to get it. I don't know. Donna says hi, Jenna and Lance from your friends at Hank Lane Music. Oh, hey, Donna. Kayla Rossi says I'm getting ready to start track. So, what kind of workout should I do to prepare? Core work. I think the stronger your core is, the faster you'll be. I've improved Steph's times just by getting her core work down pat, getting her core nice and tight and strong all the way around. Mary Cole says, hi, Jenna and Lance. I saw Lance's painting up for auction on eBay and someone asked, who's Lance? Hmm. I answered in the comment. I, I ask know. that every day. I said, why? <laughs> every day I look in the mirror, I'm like, who is this guy? Kristen Murphy says, I bought your book. Can, it, can you incorporate more than one step at a time? Yeah. You know what you're doing. Of course you can. It's, it's also, it's perfect for that. It's perfect for the person who doesn't want to do that. So use it as you wish. What are the best core exercises? Planks are great. Plank knee-ups, plank side planks. It's I started doing this after you got and How long are you doing them for? I don't want to embarrass myself. I'm sure you want to embarrass yourself. <laughs> I'm embarrassed myself. Planks are really, the, I think, the best. And there's so many different variations on the plank. Kathy Kay says, addiction doesn't discriminate. And she says... Sure words were never said. Fed and all, I think. Is something Fed and all, that's it. That's the, what's a hundred times more addicting and addictive and stronger and more powerful than heroin. How is that even possible? Wow. Plank and be the coffee table, Lance, from Darren. Yeah. At least Darren has lost the Lancey. Thank you, yes. Darren. Darren, you and my grandmother. My grandmother used to call her Lancey. Uh, Tracy Bender Schisler says, good morning, Jenna. Hey, Trace. Daphne Charlton Lansbro says, good morning. Hey, Daphne. I love you too, Darren. Uh, Terry Cummins says, good morning. Hey, a lot of people here. Dee Dee Chapu says, I. I'm definitely getting that name wrong. I apologize. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. That's it. We're done with this year. Lisa Lawton says, hi, Jenna. Happy New Year. Margie Lucy says, hi, guys. Hey, Margie. Joe Hodge says, give me a fist pump, buddy. Lance, do you make New Year's resolutions? Do I make New Year's resolutions? Every day? <laughs> Every day? I don't know. You know me. I don't really... There's so much, everything is so, I, I can't plan that far in advance. I, I just don't. Okay, I, so no is the answer. I was just looking for yes or no, but you took me on some like. No, I was surprised you wouldn't even ask. No, I'm just curious, maybe. Did you think I would? No, maybe I would think you would answer something on the lines of, I want to focus on. The Jenna Wolf Show, but that's not a New Year's resolution. That better be the rest of your life resolution. <laughs> right, so. I'm here. I'm focused. I, I invest my time here. Has anyone ever kept a New Year's resolution the entire year? Darren wants mine to be planking. So what should my resolution be? Like 35 minutes of planking? Like No, it's 40? whatever you want to do better at that you don't do very well right now. Um, so I'm saying like I'm, I'm focused here. I, okay. I, I got I, I got to make this work, yes. right? Like this has to work perfectly. And this, this has... Are you doing a Tough Mudder in 2017? I'm going to probably do a, spark, a couple Spartan races. And I'm going to let you guys know when they are. And I'd love you guys to join me, if possible. Okay. Allie, this is the Instagram. So they're new. Uh, Allie is asking, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? 
So I'm talking to my producer, Lance Leifer, and we are live simulcasted on Twitter, Periscope, YouTube, Facebook, and you now, all at the same time, 11 to 3 every day. Lance is sort of like my Robin Quivers. Can I call you my Robin Quivers? Sure. Awesome right, that's babies. a compliment. All right. You should take it as such. And he works behind, I mean, works behind the scenes, doesn't like his face to be seen, although if you go on my Instagram account, you'll see a picture. You'll understand why. <laughs> no. Very good looking. Of two good looking guys in a rowboat with me. One is Connor. Say hi, Connor. Hey, everybody. And one is Lance. Lance is the older gentleman. Connor's the cuter one. I'm the grandfather. And in the crowd. that is who I'm talking to. Allie. Uh, Susie Mo says, I like your boots. Oh, thank you. They flip over. Nicole Landry says Lance in front of the camera. I'd like to see Lance in front of the camera, but he... You did that once. Remember how bad I was? You weren't bad, but I wonder if I can control a little bit more of you here in front. <laughs> uh, Reitz07 says, Jenny, you're such an inspiration to me. Thank you. Happy New Year to you and your, family, your beautiful family. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. Nicole, Nicole Landry is asking 11 to 3 every day. Yes. Yeah, Every day, not, not um, only weekdays. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And we're not mm -hmm. on Monday this week. Except this Monday, we're going to take off because it's a holiday. I think it's a recognized national holiday. Yes. Miss 126 M says, where do you buy your workout clothes? I, whatever fits me best, whatever I like the best. I like High Leet. I like uh, Athleta, Lemon, you know some Reebok, those kind of things. I'm very picky about what I wear. I, it doesn't need to be fancy, but it just needs to make me feel strong. It's one of the chapters in my book I talk about. Make sure you you look the, the, the part, right? That you look what make, the way it makes you feel. You know, don't walk into the gym with an XX large shirt and XX large sweatpants and go in there and own it, you know? Put on colors that make you feel strong. Put on an outfit that makes you feel strong. Get in there and own what you do. Um, and play the part, and you'll start feeling the part. Chrissy and Tyler says, got to see Stephanie this morning. I heard her also on MSNBC. Yeah, Steph was on the air this morning. She was I, I was crazy. Yeah. Debbie Reynolds? She died of heartbreak. She died of heartbreak. Yeah. Ugh. Do you ever see Singing in the Rain? Did you see no. ever watch the whole thing? I still need to see Debbie. You, I... I mean, I, I, at this point, um, no, I, I, at this you point, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. I, Zip. Okay. You're going to see it. By when? I'm going to see it. Is that your New Year's resolution to yes, see Diner? <laughs> Before, but is it your 2017 New Year's resolution or is it your 2018? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, shit. That, there's my New Year's resolution. Stop saying, um. No, stop saying, um. Yeah, I noticed last night I was having a conversation and I, I completely, <clears throat> I completely can't have a conversation without saying I'm um, like, it's, I, anyway. Nicole Landry says that look part could be applied to work, fashion, and overall life experience. Yep, absolutely. Life, You're right. Life appearance, good message. Thank you. Miss 126M says, female empowerment. We need more of you, Jenna. Love. Jenna, should we do Thank a six-hour show starting next Tuesday? No. Seven? They want more of you. No, they don't. They're not getting enough with the four hours. Listen, I told you. When we start making Minting enough money, money we'll that go to I eight hours? feel okay taking a taxi here every day and not walking, Oh. I will go seven hours. I'll go eight hours. Okay. We have to talk about summer hours, which I'm going to talk to you about at offline. We have to um, adjust because I have a little issue. Okay. I told you I signed Harper for camp, right. not realizing there's no one to pick her up from camp at the hour, so we may have to shift. Okay. We'll figure that out. By then, we'll have a lot of the summer's a long ways off. The time the summer rolls around, we'll know whether we're. 100% moving forward or like a thousand percent moving forward. We're moving forward at a thousand percent. All right. Chrissy Ann Tyler says very crazy, heartbreaking. Yeah, I know. Debbie Reynolds. 
Barsadid says, how are you? I'm great. I'm really great. We should stop at some point and do some stretches or some workouts. We, yeah, let's just because. get through all of the yeah, comments. Yeah, I can sit in this chair and then go and do that crazy class. Fred Proud says 2,000% forward. Thanks, Fred. Yes. Uh, Chrissy and Tyler says, okay, I'm new to following daily. This is going to be every day talking about life. Yes. We and answering any question you have. And also guests. We do we'll have, have people lot. coming in. We're, we're going to finish the set by next end of next week. We'll have guests coming in. We're going to go on segments. trips. We'll have segments. We'll talk fashion and fitness and entertainment and politics and all of it. I promise. We'll sponsor us. It's going to be good. It's great. It's already good. We're going to have some beer on, on Tuesday. What's Tuesday? I think we have a beer sponsor. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to start somewhere. Milk and beer, right? Sure. I think, yeah, I think our beverages so far, our milk, beer, and water are signed up. Um, Bar Sada says, is Liam there? No. Have you, Brian Yargo wants to know, have you ever watched Showtime's Californication and or binge watched it? Oh, not Californication. I watched the other one. That's, that's a good show. You would like that. Yeah, okay. The Queen... Mrs. Z, the queen, Mrs. Z, says, do you have ties to today's show anymore or is this the new Jenna segment? This is it. This is the new Jenna segment. I mean, of course I have ties to the Today Show. I still know everybody and whatnot, and I'm sure I'll do stuff there, but I really want to focus on this now. It's a good question here. Nicole Landry is asking, does it get saved anywhere? Curious why you chose Instagram Live versus YouTube. It's cool. They didn't know you could have ads. I've chosen all of them. I don't just do this on Instagram. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Periscope. Right, you can find them YouTube. mostly. The, yeah. the best place to go find them are, are Facebook and Yeah, go on Periscope. my Facebook page or on my Periscope page and you'll see every show, every episode, every segment. Barsadid says, my name is Derek. Barsadi. I'm sorry, Derek. Hi, Derek. Sorry that Lance screwed up your name. Well, no, I I read his handle. Uh, he was just giving me his name. I didn't mess. It's one time I didn't. Uh, Don't okay. throw me under the bus. I, I mess up enough naturally. Uh, Kevin Brady says you should go live from the gym. It would be great motivation for the new year. I know we've been getting that request a lot. We should. Lindsay Preston says, are you going to resume hosting Wake Up With Tyler, Taylor on Sirius XM? Heard you had to cancel because you were I was sick. like deathly ill. Do you remember a couple weeks ago? I remember ago, that, yeah, I Friday. I was so sick. I mean, like, I mean, I could not, I couldn't like get my head off the 10 days ago, I remember I got to, I got to work. Oh yeah, I got to work too. I felt horrible. Uh, I would love to do that. I would absolutely love to host with her. I think that would be so much fun. So, I hope they ask me back. Okay, Brian Yarger says, how are you going to make money? That is my question. Very concerned about that. There is any way for groups to talk about so that we can get more ideas. Always good to brainstorm with other people. Lance, you answered that question. Yes, we have a sponsorship program. We're rolling it out. We've been trying to perfect the art of the show at the same time as we move into new digs. We're running faster, I think, than just about anybody on these platforms and we have sponsors lined up and we're rolling out we have different ways of making money and i think we're going to be really successful i'm optimistic good that's why i'm here and if anybody wants to advertise they can contact me it's lafer at gmail.com great did you ever have a difficult interview like Hollywood Reporter's Jerry, Lew Jerry Lewis interview. That was from Brad Pitt. How Pitt's. did I not see that? I have to, Lee, 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 well, um, Connor, can you call that one up for me? Everyone keeps talking about the, the Jerry Lewis interview and I, I keep meaning to see it. Of course, everyone's had tough interviews where someone doesn't want to talk, where you ask the wrong questions, where you get made fun of. I mean, the worst thing I ever did was, and I told the story and I'll tell it again, you never forget a humiliating question. I was covering a Yankee game, and there was a call-up who was deaf, Curtis, Curtis Pride, Curtis something. Anyway, he hit a home run. Amazing, right? What are the chances? And afterwards, like, we're all in this huge scrum around him. And I was going to impress my bosses no matter what. I think it was at, just at ABC or MSG at the time. And I told my camera guy, I'm like, just get in there. I'll get in there. And I'm like, shoving my way in. 
Normally, the first question goes to the Yes Network, Susan Waldron, and she asks the first question because it's live, but I was like, I am gonna make my mark. Like, there's no, this is gonna come from me, everyone's gonna know my name. First question, he turns around and goes, yes, and I was like, Curtis, Curtis, what did it sound like to hear 75,000 people just scream your name as you round the bases? And he goes, I don't know, I'm there. I was like, oh, and everyone looked at me, oh, and even the camera guys were like, oh, and you can almost hear the audience be like, oh, and then of course my bosses were like, oh, so I learned my lesson, think before you speak when it comes to that kind of thing, that was brutal, brutal. Anyway, I have to see how awkward that um, other interview is. But I, look, people make mistakes. People do that stuff all the time. But I've had awkward interviews where I've done satellite interviews and people gave me only yes and no answers or we had to go to a commercial break and somebody was still talking and I, we literally had to cut them off or just go to a break while they were talking. Uh, there, I can, too many account of awkward interviews that I've had, trust me. Fred Proud is ouch, but funny. Yeah. Well, what about when I call Janet Taylor, Dr. Janet Taylor, live on the air? Or Matt Bomer from that show White Collar Crime, I called him Matt Boner. Like, or Pete Harnish, called him Penis Pete. I, <laughs> like, I've done some really stupid, stupid things on the air. So far you haven't done anything stupid here. I did two stupid things that I won't forget. Here? Yes, I uh, insulted without meaning to someone, an actress, remember, that you made a comment to me and you were 100% right, I'm not gonna name names. I don't forget the mistakes. I really live true to the make as many mistakes as you want, never make the same one twice. I very rarely make the same mistake twice. But I make a lot of mistakes. And what was the second one? The second one was with Dan a couple weeks ago. Oh. Ah. Never made that again. Judy1534 says, yes, please go to a gym. Help me get going in January. What should we do? Let's come up with something good. We'll figure out something. Okay, because we get a lot of requests for that. For the, yeah, we need to get our gym game going. Yeah. At the same time. Heatha Herzog says, yay, Jenna Wolf, I want to go to Row House with you. Okay. Nicole Landry says, does Jenna take bio breaks, I hope? She downs the water. I know. I'm trying to get through this because I'm taking this Bikram class where I'm going to sweat easily 10 pounds of water this afternoon. Uh, and I'll be there in three hours, so I'm trying to get all this water in me. But yeah, we'll be taking a break pretty soon for me to go to the bathroom. Everyone should be drinking water. Brian Yargus says, good for you, Lance. Network, network, network. Thank you. One Lulu Jet, one Lulu, one Jess says, do you still work on the Today Show as a fitness correspondent? I don't, I don't anymore. I'm a fitness correspondent here, as well as every other right. genre topic of conversation. It's always, an Emerson Day says, did you all shout out Biggie Cheese? No. Okay. Miss Gibson says, you should host a Warrior Woman Obstacle Fitness Show. A lot of things I should do. Love, thank you. Love Buggy Boo says, this summer you should do a youth show with youth in the community. Yeah. Uh, Fred Proud says, do a workout in the streets segment and grab people walking by and work out with you. I don't know how many people are up for that. It's a this great idea. This is New idea. York, yeah. In New York, they'll shoot. And around the country. Yeah. We'll do around the country. We're going to take a bus. When, when the show's no. really successful, nope. Jenna, has, Jenna has promised me she's going to go on a bus. We're gonna N-G-H. Have... Okay, a friend. bus or a Winnebago. Never going to happen. Uh, Darren is saying that they may sue us after they get hurt. Yeah, I'm sure they will. <laughs> Plus, no one will do it. I couldn't even get people to say hi to me on the New York City streets. You think they're going to come work out with me? It's, uh... Alright, I think we're caught up-ish. Uh, let me just make sure. My mom made sure she told me she was going to be busy today, so she's not Okay. Watching. Love Buggy Boo says, that would be so cool and the show would reach a new generation. Scott Howard, I think, talking about the youth. The youth, one. yeah. Scott Howard says, hello, Jenna team. Good to be here. Hey, Scott. Uh, Tony Kendall, those people that want six hours should just go to the show's YouTube channel and watch reruns after the four hours. Love show. you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Kathy K says, we are watching you today from Boynton Beach. Oh, could I be more jealous? 
Kathy K, I'm jealous. Ugh. When Bean opens the votation for finals best, best athlete. Oh, when does the voting begin for finals best athlete? Soon. We're getting down there, Van, um, Connor, right? Oh, yeah. Danny H, um, I still got a shot. That's true, so I'm Darren. Saying, so. Well, we should, um, we should, oh, there we go with the um. We'll talk, we, we should do a few bracket shows today, since I think a lot of them were done in the last few days, right? They should be, but Trish is gone now, so I don't know what. But I think the final rounds I can do myself on the phone okay. that we did last week. Are we going to do some finals today? Some final I rounds? think we're close, yeah. Oh, good. Fred Mildorf says, I like you, Jenna. Oh, I like you too, Fred. Myra Barco Parker says, do you take any vitamins or supplements? Any recommendations? I don't want to give anyone recommendations because I think you need to take what, what your body needs. So I happen to need vitamin D, a B12, a zinc supplement, and some iodine. Uh, and I take all of that because a doctor recommended it. I wouldn't just take it for the sake of taking it. I'm very big on not taking things unless you absolutely need it. Heatha Herzog says, heading to a Y7 class. Jenny, you are the best love these live shows. Thank you. I took Y7 once downtown a couple weeks ago with my friend Dara, and I loved it. Today I'm doing uh, Bikram, but I want to try to sneak in another yoga class once a week in addition to Bikram. So if anybody wants to come give me personal yoga lessons here in New York, I would love you, I'd love to be in touch with you because my schedule is crazy. So if that is your game and you want me to play with you, let's go, let's do it, reach out. Darren, today is a guestless day, it's all segments. Yeah, we really wanna wait until we get all our furniture in and, and finish the set before we bring all our guests back. Uh, Bird7011 says, you rock girl, stay too, true to your dreams. Thank you. You sh uh, v Laz v Lazaro says you should review how to work out using household items. Could do that too. Okay. It's a great idea, actually. Ashley Steve says, got your book right next to me. Have a large group of people starting the Whole30 Challenge on the second. So many great tips. Yes. I love that. Thank you. No, Annie, your English is more than good enough. Don't worry. You keep, you keep going. I'll do my best. Fred Mildorf says, drink more beer. Okay. <clears throat> Stephanie hates the beer that I drink. So when she goes out to get beer, she like I should take the beer looks out. and thinks and analyzes and overanalyzes, and it's got to be some sort of like IPO and from where and this kind of pale ale. IPA. IPA, whatever. IPA. IPA. <laughs> and I'll walk in and be like, do you guys have Bud Light Lime? And she's like, you're going to laugh yourself right out of every watering hole in this city. And Susan Solomon's Hot House says, love you, Lance. Love you too, Susan. Thank you. Thanks, Susan. And... I think we are uh, somehow I caught that, up. I love that we read every single last comment. I answer every single last question, and then we move on to the next thing. Yeah, I think it's we're as right. interactive as it gets. Darren, it is it is break time. We'll see y'all soon. Okay, <laughs> now it's time to go, Darren. <laughs> I did well. I drank all that in an hour. I'm gonna fill it up again. Okay.